I want a clean fight from both of you. You understood? You understood, Andrew? Lennox? Okay, toss it up. And the introductions are complete. We are ready. Lennox Lewis, Andrew Galata. All right, Mary, you sort of stand out. Who's your pick? Galata. <laughs> I saw Lennox's stomach, and he was breathing really heavy. And he's really not worked up much of a sweat. Just give me a clean fight. That's all I want. <laughs> Everything above the belt and above the high trunk line. Lou Duva talking to Galata. Excuse me, Lou, we have a fight, you know. <laughs> a clean one. <laughs> a clean one. And we're set to go. The anticipation is over. Here we go. Lewis comes right at Galata. Did not throw the punch. Lewis with the jam. He's got a good one. Lewis feet wide. Galata the right proportion. Lewis missing with a hook. Lewis trying to land a right hand right off the bat. He's pulling with that left to set up the right. Gets the jab in. Lewis wants to control from the outside. Good boxer. Pops the jab and a right hand in. Nicely done by Lennox Lewis to start. Galata hasn't done anything yet. Until there. You wonder if Galata might be gun shy for a while with all the warnings of the low blows. It has been hammered into his head. Lewis with a big right hand. Galata in some early trouble here. Got stunned by a right over the top by Lewis. Good right and left hand by Lewis. Galata to deep. Galata down. down. Stunned by He's the power not there. of Lennox Lewis. This could be over. He's very well could be over. let it continue. He's going to let it continue. Give Galata him. in deep trouble. He was hammered. And Lewis coming at him. He gets a long count, essentially, but he's got a lot of time to get through here. Big right by Lewis. Galata is in deep trouble. This is almost over. Galata cannot think in there. He's that's that's down, this down again. It's over. Galata is hammered by Lennox Lewis. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, it was clean. That's for sure. There was Andrew, no doubt Galata. about it. Andrew Galata never got started in this fight. He was. It, he looked like he was waiting to get started at maybe the two-minute mark. There ain't no time like that. You got to get on, get in there. And you got to wonder, with the performance that Andrew Galata just turned in tonight, what may have been going through his mind with him showing up late to the arena with the police officers and everything. Andrew Galata getting popped by Lennox Lewis, who's stopped, as expected now, will rise dramatically. That was the stakes for the winner I, you of know, this fight. I pick Galata. Lewis is the man. He deserves it all. Especially in heavyweight fights, you often see somebody come out. You might see the early knockout and... Yeah, this fight hinging on Galata's ability to withstand Lewis's early assault, and he could not withstand it at all. Now, Lewis hit Galata with shots. Remember, Riddick Bowe hit Galata with all these shots, and Lewis hurt him immediately. He snuck it in with two jabs, and then it was an overhand right that just pushed him back in that corner, and he was just in trouble after that. You know, it's funny. We looked at Roy Jones Jr. when he knocked out Montel Griffin, and we talk about how focused he was. You look at Lennox Lewis when he was focused against Razor Ruddick and blew him away. He was focused against Andrew Galata and blew him away. Lennox Lewis loves the month of October. 1992, October 31st, his biggest performance ever, perhaps, the two-round knockout victory over Donovan Razor running. Two years ago in 1995, on October 7th, another huge performance for Lewis against Tommy Morrison, a root-going effort stopping Morrison in six. A win over Frank Bruno in 1993 in October. A TKO in the seventh round, and here... On October 4th, a tremendous performance by Lewis. The big right hand on Galata. Now, this is something Andrew Galata is not 
trained to do. Didn't hold. Lewis just looked for that right hand opening. Just looking right down the middle. He's pawing with it. Left hook rocks him back with straight right on the chin. Another right. That's where Galat is out of it right there. Down for the first time. Barely able to get up. And then it's allowed to continue. And Lewis takes his time pouring. Big shots here. Galata just giving a seat on the canvas. And Joe Cortez calls it off in the count. Lewis, a sharpshooter. And it was, in this case, Tony, a man against a boy, as it turned out. You got it. So Lennox Lewis did everything right. All his punches were straight, short, right down the pipe. Nothing wide. Look at him. Pull back. Good defense. Sets himself up. Good right hand inside. Good left. Look at him, look at him, just constant punches, all headshots. I mean, the power behind those punches, you can only imagine to have just cut down Andrew Galata that quick in the first round. Remember what Riddick Bowe hit Galata with, everything, and nothing like this occurred. Terrific shots here by Lennox Lewis. He will be boxing's version of Mr. October. You got that right. Lennox Lewis looks like he's not only beating down Galata, he's beating down everybody who ever doubted him in the ring. He says he's the best fighter in the world. He gets the opinion he's the best heavyweight that ever walked the planet. Well, he, he goes to prove, to prove that right here with a textbook performance. He showed some killer instinct, which we have not seen in him. Couldn't do it against Alvin McCall. Couldn't do it against Lennox Lewis. But here's a guy who wanted to fight back. He took him out of there easy. Took out a tremendously notorious fighter, Galata, with everything he had done to Riddick Bowe, in many cases considered an uncrowned champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 35 seconds of the very first round. The referee, Joe Cortez, calls the fight to an end. The winner, and still, WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the pride of Great Ribbon, Lennox Lewis. Well, that is the beauty of boxing.